welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some home decor stuff. Now a lot of the stuff that I'm going to make on this channel are stuff that you can buy online or in store. But if you're a student like me, you probably don't want to be spending hundreds of dollars on gifts or home decor stuff. So I'm going to show you things to make that's really really easy and does not take a lot of time at all and it costs a fraction of what it costs online. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to make is this chalkboard wall art and this is from Urban Outfitters and it retails for $34. This is also from Urban Outfitters and this retails for $19. So this is the one that I made and I made this for around $10. So let me show you how to make this. So here are some materials that you're going to need. A wooden board, some chalkboard paint, painter's tape, some chalk, and a brush. I'm actually using a makeup applicator sponge, but you can use any brush for this. So first you want to take your painter's tape and mark on the board the area where you want to paint. This step is obviously optional as you can just decide to paint the entire board. Now you want to take your chalkboard paint and your brush and put on a thin even layer on your wooden board. And when you're done with that, you want to let it dry for about an hour before you put on the next coat. Now about an hour has gone by since the paint has dried, so now you want to put on your second layer. This is also the final layer. You want to make sure that you're painting in the same direction so that the paint has a smooth finish in the end. Now you want to let it dry for 3 days. Yeah, 3 days. Now that the paint has dried for 3 days, you want to take off the painter's tape. As you can see, even with something as simple as taking off tape, I struggled with it. After you take off the tape, hopefully you did a better job than I did, you want to take your chalk and just rub the painted area with this. This is going to help you erase your chalk off easier when you write on it. And now you are all done with your chalkboard wall art, and you can feel free to write whatever you want on it. And this next thing that I'm going to show you how to make is this Kate Spade vase from Indigo. This retails for $75. And like I said before, I am a student, so $75 can buy me a lot of bagels from Timmy's. And this is the vase that I made. It's not exact, but it is similar, and I made this for about 5 or $6. Now this is so easy to make. All you need is three things. A vase, some Sharpies, and painter's tape. You could probably even make this for even cheaper than I did because you can get a vase and some permanent markers from the dollar store. To start, you want to put painter's tape around the rim, just like so. Now you want to take your colored sharpie and color in the rim. I'm using bronze in this video, but you can use any color that you like. Now you want to take off the painter's tape and you have your colored rim. Clearly, I messed up a little bit, but that's okay. A flower will just cover it. Now you can pick a quote that you like and take your sharpie and write the quote around your vase. The quote that I chose is actually a Dr. Seuss quote and it says, Be who you are and say what you feel because those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. And when you're done with that, you have your own quoted vase. The last thing I'm going to show you how to make is this map covered monogram and this is from Urban Outfitters and it retails for $14. This is probably my favorite thing that I made in this video, and it's so easy and so quick to make, and it also makes a really good gift. This is the one that I made, and I made this for about $12. What you're going to need is a wooden monogram letter, Mod Podge, a pencil, a pair of scissors, a brush, and a printout of the world map. Now after you buy all the materials, you can actually make a few. So I know the price is around the same as it is online, but you can make more. So first, what you're going to want to do is take your monogram letter and trace it on the back of the map. You can also lift it up to preview what is going to show up on your letter. Also, you don't even have to use a map printout. You can use any background that you want to be on your letter. After you trace the outline, all you want to do is cut it out. When you have your cutout, you want to take your Mod Podge and your brush. Also, for the Mod Podge, I'm using the matte finish just because I like the way it looks. And then you want to put some on your brush and just put it all over your monogram. After that, you are ready to put your cutout on your monogram. You want to make sure to press down on all the edges and smooth out all the air bubbles that you see. 
You may even want to put some extra Mod Podge on the edges just so it doesn't stick out. You want to let that sit for about 15 minutes and after it's dry, you want to take more Mod Podge and put it over the paper. This will seal it in. After that has dried, you now have a map covered monogram letter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please subscribe to my channel and feel free to comment on any suggestions that you guys have for me to on stuff that I can make for future videos. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Say bye panda! <laughs>